How can industry play a key role in the green transition? And can a collaboration between a municipality and local business community help create jobs, new businesses, and green innovation? Those are some of the questions that the Cisco project has tried to answer since its beginning in 2019. One of the answers lies in the establishment of Green Lab, a green industrial park where companies are part of a symbiosis that allows them to share their excess resources with each other. Cisca is short for Circular Industrial Symbiosis Parks Scandinavia. The final conference of the project was held at the Green Lab Summit, where we got a chance to speak to some of the key players. For Skive Kommune, der har Cisca projektet været vigtigt led i at skabe Green Lab. Green Lab er en en erhvervspark, som handler omkring en cirkulær økonomi, en industriel symbiose. Men kernen i dag vil jeg sige en en grøn cirkulær erhvervspark hvor virksomhederne kan dele ressourcer med hinanden. Vi særligt lykkes med Green Lab ved at tænke på en anden måde, og det har været i sådan en offentlig privat partnerskabsmodel. Og vi kan sige, at effekten af Green Lab har været rigtig høj. Det er stadigvæk under udvikling, men allerede nu har det skabt betydelig grøn vækst, og dermed også en masse lokal udvikling, vi profiterer af. Næste skridt det er selvfølgelig at brede Green Lab ud. Og vi ser også som en del af Cisca, det er det, at det kan replikeres til andre kommuner eller andre lande. The interesting thing about the circular economy is you need everybody to participate. So, of course, a, a really important anchoring is the local society, and that not just the municipality or the public entities, but the society itself. They really have to have an interest in uh, creating a growth and making the green transition, participating uh, and understanding, you know, what does it mean for my daily life? And then you work with the private entities. They need a different incentive, obviously, because they're in it for the business. So how do you convert this green transition and the positive effect on society into a good business case? The nice thing is we're looking into turning this green transition from a challenge to an opportunity. But here we're looking at it in the opportunity of creating new markets, uh, transforming your industry, uh, being first movers into new markets, uh, finding new offtake opportunities. And if you do that cooperatively, you're actually de-risking it. I et lokal område så vil Green Lab Nes ha en voldsom betydning i forhold til det å utnytte ressurser, skape nye ressurser og skape arbeidsplasser og vekst til en kommune. Man også har en mulighet til å, å drive med forskning og utvikling som er med på å klare de overordnede målsettingene for en kommune, som er helt, helt fantastisk og en god start. You need to find Screen Lab interest as a knowledge partner to join hands with us to fine tune our model that we are also applying and replicating in developing and transition countries. It's about green hydrogen industrial clusters and we are taking on board a lot of the knowledge and the expertise that you have developed here in the Green Lab. So we look forward to continue your cooperation to replicate what has been done by Green Lab but also adapt it to the specific needs that we will find in the different countries where we work. It is our hope that Green Lab and the Cisco project can serve as an inspiration for many local communities. We are available for advice and guidance to public and private players who want to know more.